that's the beautiful thing about doing pre-recorded stuff is like you can really get started whenever the hell you feel like it. It's beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. Yup. And Killer just edits out whatever we don't need later. Yay for Killer! Pretty much. All right. The fun so... part about pre-recorded stuff is that you get to stick it out all on at the end. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We might. Ah, yeah. oh, I should have done. Eh. We might have to do like in the season episode where we just have all the um, all best the out- moments, all the outtakes, and yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, best of, best of. All right. So let's get this party started. Welcome, plebeians, to our recorded version of RCM on Tap. I'm not really sure which air date this is going to be, but we are coming to you from the past. And joining us tonight, alongside Biomed Alchemist and Killer McCoy, Sikani Wright has joined us! Yay! Yeah! The true DJ here at Yay! RCM. Outside Yay! of Killer MC Coy. <laughs> This guy, yeah. this yeah, guy has legit. No, no. I, don't even compare me to the same stature as so Connie. Don't know, even right? try. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, so Connie. We've been trying to, to get you on our show for quite some time. I'm, I'm glad that things have finally kind of settled down for you. Um, you know, again, congratulations on your recent wedding. Totally. Um, yes. To chase the ring. Oh yeah. Well, congratulations. She, she put there. a ring on it. That's what happened. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. She liked it, so she went and put the ring on it. Yeah, put the ring on it. <laughs> That's right. So, okay, now real talk though. Why am I here again? Well, we wanted what? to talk to you first of all because you are part of the Rival Cast community, and we like having all of the Rival Cast community be able to, you know, speak their mind, hang out with friends, talk a little bit. But also because we have questions for you this week on music and specifically video game music, and who better to talk about it than the guy who does. The BGM podcast. That would be you. It's kind of true. That Very would be true. You. <laughs> so before we get into that, though, we do have a standard question that we ask here for all of our guests here at Rivalcast Media. Um, how did and and this is kind of going to be a silly one for you, I think. But how did you get your name? Uh, how did I get my name? Like your yeah your like, gamer tag. Like which game one? Or... Yeah, your, your, your gamer name. Oh, yeah, um, I got it from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be more to this. I want to hear this. Continue. Um, I no. got it from my mom. Oh, okay. There, there, there was, what was the context involved, of- and at some point there was a certificate handed to him that, you know, to his mom. Yes, uh, and I, you know. I wanted to let that out because for the longest time I thought that it was just a, a gamer tag. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I was like, wait a minute. that's No, that's his actual name. That's awesome. So it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, wow. It, it is proof that you can be honest on the internet, people. I did not. Wow. What? Know, right? Mine is blown. I know. Can't be happening. I know. Holy crap! So That's anyway. amazing. So anyway. I need to drink more. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that right, reminds so me. I left my I left my beer over there. I have to go. Where, yeah, over there. Yeah, go ahead. Grab your beer. Go get it. Go. Go get it. We can or this use out. the force and be like. That would be awesome. <laughs> I mean, you do and have the ring flies. of power now. So. Hold on, oh, yeah. hold on. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Do <laughs> do. <laughs> I can just imagine her standing there, just off camera, just like dance for it. I know, I know they can see you, now dance! <laughs> and that is basically going to be the plot of the next Star Wars movie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Guy who just, you know, just wants his brew and you know, still better than the prequels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's funny. That's not hard true. to do. All right. So, first question of the evening, since we have Sakani on, yay! Ooh, blue moon. Wait a minute, that's that one. Was there a particular game that sparked your interest in video game music? Thinking back. Hmm. I don't know if, if there was a particular game. 
Uh oh. We lost him. Oh crap! No. <laughs> I know it started in the Super Nintendo. I think we're losing him. No! Come back, Sakani. Hey, is this thing working? Yeah, we can yeah. hear you now. Yeah, we can now. It's cutting. You kind of cut out when you oh, started no. your answer. Okay, hold on one second. Okay. Bio, do something crazy. No. <laughs> no. No. This right. is why you get to be executive producer killer. <gasps> oh, I'm just there you go. Pour it. What are you, you drinking? Oh, it's just water I put in a plastic bottle. Oh, it, it's probably going to kill me when it flakes off. So, there's that. Is it a BPA-free bottle? Nobody got time for that. There we go, there we go, Sakani. Yay! Good news, though, it's okay. whatever was in here previously is gluten-free. Oh, that's important. <laughs> Very important. Uh, yeah, so water with gluten would be pretty... Yeah, this thing like... working. No, he's you, getting out. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it's kind of definitely right, though. Water or a, a liquid with gluten would be like drinking gravy or something. I don't know. <laughs> glue. Glue, in fact. Glue. Ah, oh, I see what you did there. No, I don't know if uh, my co-hosts have noticed, but they actually have titles after their, their names today. Uh-oh. So, oh, really? It's going to be bad. I didn't know this. is going to be bad. So, so people from the future, because we're coming to you from the past, Killer got promoted the other day from producer to executive producer, and I felt it only fitting that we, you know, uh, uh, honor his newfound stature by actually putting it in parentheses after his name. So, which yay. which means that you can't demote him again. Between, oh, I can demote whoever you know. I want, whenever I want, but... Yeah, but you'd have to explain right. the repromotion. You couldn't be like, yes. you're, you're banned for life, and then this episode releases, and it's, you know, you kill the continuity. Well, <laughs> to, to be perfectly honest, uh, Killer's gonna get demoted, like, every episode, and then by the next episode, we're fine again. So that's just how we roll around here. And, uh... Wow. Bio, Quite because, interesting. Yes, yes. Bio, I made you creative director, because you needed to have something, too. So, congratulations, yay! <laughs> yay! I got the, the second place everyone's a winner trophy! <laughs> hey, there's nothing about creative director that isn't amazing and awesome. I'm just saying. Uh, and the fourth chair gets to be revered guest. So, Sakani, you are technically speaking our first revered guest, even though this won't air for a couple of weeks yet, so. Yes. Well, and like you we really kind of said, the, the first... first. You know, Sakani was one that we've been trying to book for a while. That yeah. Just like really occupied with the, life and such. Yeah, so. Yeah. I think, what, the third Pretty, or fourth yeah. of the week? <laughs> Pretty, well, sooner than that, I yeah, think. He I think was, we were first planning guests. Yeah, he he was actually on the like the short list when we were first. Yeah, we I've been um, getting movie. yeah, I've been getting requests to do this since, like, last year. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. so, yep. Uh, the stars think, aligned. Yep. I think we need to go back to the questions since we didn't right. really get a full, full. Yes, we're we're gonna try this again. Okay, so Sakani, so, so was there a particular game that sparked your interest in video game music? Like I said, tried to say before, <laughs> in the uh, Super Nintendo era is when I started noticing that certain games had these melodies I was just um, humming along to, you no, know, in my off hours I would say. I was walking to school, I was humming along with um, music from Super Mario RPG or Chrono Trigger or Donkey Kong Country, things like that. Mm -hmm. And that was when I realized, you know what, I really like this stuff. And as it evolved and grew into a um, something that you could listen to on its own, you know, mm -hmm. and not feel ashamed about it, then I said, you know what, this is something that needs to be Why not do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. See, I kind of fell into it the same way. I mean, gaming music is one of the few, like, gaming topics that I actually follow because I, I it was the same thing for me, you know. Um, I didn't play a lot of games when I was growing up, but my brother and sister did. And for me, it started with, like, the just the catchiness of, you know, Super Mario Brothers in particular. And then um, there was one, I, I was talking with Baron about this the other night, and he, he told me I was wrong, but I remember it from the first game that had Yoshi in it. 
and do 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 do. And he's like, it was actually in a, a game before that, but I would sing it all the time, and it was just you know such an amazingly happy tune. And then from that, just started listening to like some of the other stuff and the other soundtracks. And then when you get to like the full orchestral renditions that games like Skyrim put out, I mean, it's just it's amazing to see how that's evolved over time and and what they've really done with it because i think it really adds something to that gaming experience yeah now in my opinion part of it is an evolution part of it is a de-evolution like i said what got me into music was sort of the humble melodies mm. and that seems to be falling out of favor these days in choices of say sweeping symphonic scores like or mm. just you no know, things that are trying to be um sort of understated but just sort of fill in the gaps between the action so the music can play things like, say, um, Skyrim or Uncharted or Call of Duty. No, these are these are basically movie scores, not really soundtracks. They're designed to fit in the action, and mm-hmm. when you take it out of that, it makes no sense to me. No, it's just kind of there, as opposed to things like, uh, and then other games have licensed soundtracks, like regular music in a game that doesn't really count. Yeah, and so right. you have to. Tr- Try really hard to find something that can stand on its own, like say the soundtrack to uh, Guild Wars 2 or World of Warcraft or Street Fighter 4, things like that. No, those are more and more rare these days, it seems. And I and I cherish those when I can find them. Yeah, it's a real good point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because when you think of it, like my, my parents at least growing up, as many times I tried to beat uh, the original Super Mario Brothers and such, like they they know the song. If I went home and fired it up and started playing it, they would know. Oh, it's that game that you played back when you were like four or five. Yeah, but who knows the soundtrack soundtrack to Minecraft? That does it yeah. even have a song? Oh yeah, yeah, it does. I actually, have it. <laughs> Well, but at the same time, it, it's but but it's kind of the same. At least the songs I'm used to. It's only like a couple of them that rotate out based on you know what's going on. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it, it does, I agree. It doesn't necessarily have as much of a a hold uh, than others. Mm-hmm. Like, like Sakani was saying, filler and such. It definitely makes sense. Yeah, but I mean, I can I can hum the theme to say um, uh, Street Fighter Two right now, and everybody <laughs> would know that. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you keep doing that, you will summon a D to D. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah. And right now, and right now, Killer is um matching picture in a um uh, black a guy person. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. touche, sure. You got me there. You got me good. I you set yourself that. up for these things, Killer. I uh, don't, you, you know what? <laughs> I reserved that one. Uh, all right. Well, let me... Don't worry. That'd be the only cheap shot. I'll earn the rest. <laughs> okay. I'll try. <laughs> That's good. I got her on the same right. level there. So, kind of following along um, with, with your answer from that last question. Now, what, one of my follow-up questions was going to be, do you think you know, what, what are your feelings on, you know, how things have evolved or devolved, as you say, um, from going from the hummable tunes to the more, you know, movie based gameplay that we have with like Skyrim and Assassin's Creed and everything right now. So thinking along what your answer was for that, you know, what game in your experience was either made or broken by its music? The one example that comes to mind for me is actually a license, uh, actually a licensed soundtrack, and that is Crazy Taxi. Oh yes. Ah. Okay. Yes. Because <laughs> no, no one will ever admit that they like The Offspring, ever. <laughs> <laughs> but once you take that "All I Want" song out of Crazy Taxi, it's just not the same game. It's anymore. not. It really isn't. No, you're absolutely right. <laughs> All right, so so explain this game to me. I, I feel like I should know what this is, but what what was Crazy Taxi? Oh, you taxi don't know Crazy Taxi? Oh. No. Okay, I, you know what? If you would give me a minute to set up my soundboard, I would be playing that right now. <laughs> 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 probably the closest thing I can do is I can I probably the camera switcher set up either. I would set up some B roll or something. I'm just dancing. <laughs> K- Killer, edit this in. You can do this. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a note. Hold on. I get my pen. Pen, pen, pen. 
I'll write this down. Yeah, but it was basically just a game where you were driving a convertible taxi cab through a fake San Francisco, Sweet. taking people from one place to another in the fastest possible time while breaking all possible traffic laws. You know, yes. to get more points and more tips. Screw the rules. Screw the rules. And, and, and yeah, well, yeah. Well, the, the more you screw. The more you screw the rules, the more money you make. No, just like driving a real cab. Yep. But that's. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played this before. But yeah, no, it was a big thing in the arcades. It came out on the Dreamcast. That was the home version. Yep, it was a, really, it was really big in the arcades. It's an arcade game. You no, know, you went. It was a designed the quarter munchie. You no, know, the time tick. And you just ran to the time ran out. How how have I not heard of this before? This is amazing. Oh yeah, that was a, that was like one of the things I played on the Dreamcast the most. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. It was a which was a great console, and I, I think they kind of abused that one a bit. They, they didn't do what they could have with it. It was the best thing Sega ever made. Yeah, yeah I, still, I can agree with that. I'm wondering if we have which is interesting because I know Sakani has talked about in other forms that the Dreamcast, in many ways, was kind of his first PC. Like it had an IRC client in it. You could hook it up to the internet. Uh, some older consoles kind of tried to do that, but not, you know, not to the degree the Dreamcast did. Yeah, it, it is true. That was the first device I ever owned with an internet connection. So later on, I ended up getting the actual real computer. But before that, yeah, that was my um, that was my link to the world. You know, I yeah. I chatted on IRC. I um, played online games, uh, Fantasy Star Online, most notably. Oh yeah, yeah. <sighs> The memories. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. So, uh, what do you kind of think then in regards to, you were kind of talking about the de-evolution of music, what do you think about some of them that are kind of trying to go back, not just with sound, but with technical, uh, the way it's technically made? So, the example I'm thinking of offhand is Shovel Knight, how uh, Vert from OC Remix, uh, I think he was Jake... Jake, Jake Kaufman, something. yeah, yes. boy, what up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's what I was wondering. Like, he went back, and it's to the point where I, I want to say he made, well, he made the soundtrack, but he did some really cool stuff with it. You can watch YouTube videos about it where they talk about how he basically made this where there's a version that would play on, you know, homebrew Nintendo system. He, really highly technical, but yet it takes back to that previous era. Okay, yeah, um... That is the thing now. There's a big resurgence, in, especially on the indie game scene, in chiptune. That's the thing that's coming up now. They try, people are trying to um, recapture the creativity of what you could do with melodies with limited resources. Now, a lot of these indie games, they don't have the budgets to hire, say, um, the Skywalker Symphony Orchestra to um, score their game. So they basically do what they have. They hire a lot of indie, indie people. You know, some people who are from OC Remix. But also the chiptune is a artistic choice. One, it uh, allows people to express their own form of creativity and you know, sort of recreate or pay tribute to the melodies that got them into video game music in the first place. Like say, big ones are obviously Super Mario, Mega Man, Castlevania, Metroid, etc. And it also matches sort of the low-key aesthetic of games. As you notice that uh, a lot of indie games are choosing to develop sort of a retro style as an artistic choice, and the chip team soundtrack matches that. Even when they were remaking games, like say, for example, the the DuckTales remastered had kind of a uh, chip tune ish soundtrack to it. Mm -hmm. Same thing for say, uh, like you said, Shovel Knight before, and there have been other many other indie games um, like that as well. Even though it's not all about chip tunes, much as I can appreciate them, and some people have even made a thing about it, if I can. Cut. DJ, am I, am I still good? Uh, right now you are, yeah. Yeah, you're good now. Okay. There's a guy named DJ Cutman who has a label dedicated to chiptune music, and it's just a, it's just a thing that's going on right now. And like I said, I can appreciate this, but at the same time, I think there's room for that as well as room for uh, more progressive forms of music, like say in uh, Shatter. Or Bastion, or Transistor. Oh things yeah, like that. Those are really good soundtrack examples. And there's also fusions of chiptune and other styles of music, like say in Super Meat Boy or in uh, the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World game. 
like this. Sounds stuff. like good stuff. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. And if you listen to the BGM podcast on the Rivalcast <laughs> Media Network, you can hear examples of all of these things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rivalcastmedia.com. Blog. <laughs> That's what we're here for, people. No, but it, it really is. No, like last, uh, it was kind of funny, last Thanksgiving, I think, I was making some stuff to, you know, go with the family and, and such, and I was listening to BGM podcasts while I was doing it. Because, yeah, well, no, one of the things I like is, I like your, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of just a little victory dance here. No, I like the way, when you do the show, you come up with kind of a theme most of the time, where everything kind of ties together, somehow, like, uh, you recently did like a best of uh, 2014 for last year. That was kind of an example more of a plucked out of, you know, just throughout the year. But you kind of like to do themes and string it together. Is there a particular reason you kind of chose that? or It's just an excuse to put songs together that I kind of like. <laughs> I, okay, fair enough, yeah. Oh, you don't need an excuse I, uh, to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, there are some times where I do themes from certain games, like the most recent episode that just went up last week was Pokemon games. Right. And before that, what, what did I do before that? Uh, it was a theme about boss battle themes. Yep. And then sometimes... You, you also know, did an I get, article on that, too. Yeah. I get themes you know, suggested by uh, users who write into the show bgm at sakani 2com <laughs> <laughs> or they uh, uh, send me a mention or something on Twitter at bgm podcast on Twitter. <laughs> well, these are just things they do. I should update that while we're we we need to get those clips of Sakani saying that and just spread it throughout the show like very subliminal know, right? kind of low volume. <laughs> <laughs> People will be like. I must follow these accounts and send emails. <laughs> hey, away. killer, make, make it happen, man. Can you <laughs> okay, hold on. Get it. Right. 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 The show one is at BGM Podcast? That is correct. I Aren't you following it? You should be. I'm following oh. everybody's, but so I... I about when I about called out? No, when, when it's I... It's about to happen. When I talk to you, it's usually under your other one. So, there we go. There's your ah, The curse of having multiple accounts. I know, right? <laughs> the burden you must well, I, bear. It was weird because um, back when I, f- like, oh, last summer when uh, chat made me set up a Twitter account, so it's not the same account that I, I use now. And I used it for, like, a day and then I completely forgot about it. So then when I actually legit started using Twitter, I ended up setting, you know, up a new account and I have it under my actual name and whatever, um, at Baroness Vigo, so underneath my little thing there. But I completely forgot that I had the other account, and then uh, about three days ago, I got an email saying that, oh, someone sent you a direct message on this account. I'm like, what the hell is this? So, for whoever was messaging me on that, I have no idea how to get back in to, to read what you wrote. So, yeah. I feel ya. I feel ya. But yes, okay, so, at BGM Podcast. Good. Yes, that is the information. We get that down. And yeah, it's kind of annoying to... Sometimes I do it too. So sometimes I'm like, hey, yeah, here's this like nice video game music thing. And then I make it over to my other account to talk about you no know, serious business stuff like, oh my god, look what this police officer just did. And then I tweet that under my right. BGM account. It's right. like, whoops! <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that gets crazy to manage. Yeah. <laughs> Across multiple... Uh, Especially, well, not just that, but multiple platforms. You spread beyond just Twitter. If you have a lot of those apps where it just sends it out everywhere, you're like, oh, crap, I didn't yeah. send it on the right one. Yeah. Well, that, that's why it's yeah. like for things, it, and that's, that's a very good point, Bio, too. It's like things where, um, like, I, I manage a lot of stuff on the Rivalcast Twitter feed, and I know you do, too. We kind of tag team it. But when we set it up for... Um, for all of our Rivalcast Facebook posts from our page to go to Twitter, it requires you to have a, sp- a Facebook account linked to it. And I was like, well, as an admin, I use my personal account, but I was like, yeah, I don't want everything I post up going onto the Rivalcast Twitter feed. So, yeah. <laughs> then you, you end up with like multiple me's in the admin thing. And Var- uh, Varyar was like, what the hell are you doing? You've got like three versions of yourself <laughs> under the... <laughs> I was like, no, no, this is this is specific. I color coded them, so. No, <laughs> what? no, no. Just admit it. Is your split personalities? That's what it is. 
I try kind of a blue day today. I yeah. try to keep my. <laughs> I try to keep things as simple. Like my life is just concentric circles. I try to keep it as simple as possible. But every so often, you need to make another version of yourself to kind of do your bidding. It is like having clones in a way. Don't look at me like mm. that, killer. Don't look at me like uh, that. No, I was just thinking about having clones of myself. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, I'm imagining that, but they're all midgets. Like there's a big I can't killer. have clones of myself. <laughs> <laughs> there's a big killer, and then there's like a whole bunch of little killers, like like yay big, and they're just running around. They look exactly like you. The little glasses. Yeah, I I can't have clones myself. I I kill myself multiple <laughs> oh, <no>. times. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of reminds me of the episode is like this uh, animated series of like uh, terrible. Oh, what was it called? Horrible Americans or something like that. Where creatures of the nether world and we're living in New York City. And there's this scene where this wizard gets dies, but he goes in these multiple itty bitties of them himself. So they have to kill each other, and they keep getting bigger and bigger until continue. In the <laughs> end, I'm be sorry, one. Connie. That's what I'm getting out of this. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's on that note move over to our next question. Um, so do you find yourself listening to video game music during your day-to-day -day routine? And there there was sort of a corollary question to this too. Um, outside of video game music, what other stuff do you like to listen to? Well, uh, if you can only see, I listen to most of my music on Google Play All Access. That's my preferred music streaming service. Okay. Nice. And I and thankfully, with the um, expansion to twenty thousand songs, I have most of my game music library actually up there now. Nice, oh, wow. nice. So, so I can listen yes. to <laughs> everything on here, and I take it with me everywhere I go. See, there's a oh, it, 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 it normally there's a button. It works. There you go. Oh, <laughs> there's the lovely oh, wife. Oh, there you go. What? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's her right there. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She'll be watching this later, like you're damn right you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. But yeah, I do listen to game music a lot on the on my job. I mean, I work with a FedEx driver, so I have plenty of time to listen to stuff. And I listen to various game soundtracks, stuff from OC Remix, stuff uh, my own show occasionally. Uh, <laughs> and when I'm not doing Thanks, that, man. I listen to say um, lots of podcasts, lots of audio books. And as far as other music, um, wow. Let's say I have eclectic tastes. Woohoo! Yeah, definitely. I'm, yeah. I may be the only person I know who has um, Kanye West, Kill, Kill Switch Engaged, and Nobuo, Nobuo Uematsu on the same playlist. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. I can just imagine D listening to this one later going, I have the same thing! Oh! Yeah, I imagine D kind of does too. <laughs> this is amazing! You know, that's, that's an interesting thing, though. You were kind of talking about that mix, but there's also video game inspired music. Like you and I are both fans of Mega Ran, of random, and you know, yeah. licensed to go do you know use the loops and such on his tracks, and it's just awesome that that's starting to happen. Yeah. Actually, you know, I think I heard a theory once that I think explains this. Uh, apparently, people that listen to a lot of video game music they really have more um, expansive tastes. Because video game music, music on itself, even though it's all instrumental, and in one game you can have things that cover an extremely broad range of styles. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And so Definitely. when you get used to hearing those styles and you hear it in normal, uh oh, oh, we lost you again. There. Music, it's like, okay. No, you did. I'm right. I'm right here. I'm right okay. here. I'm right here. <laughs> right here. 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 Yeah, um, you get used to hearing a broad variety of styles because game music does that. You know, in one game, like for example, say Super Mario 64, let's take that as one example, yeah. you hear you know, um, things that are, are inspired. For each different stage, you have a different type of music. You know, you may get something like, uh, you may get a completely different uh, style for, say, the ice world compared to the jungle world compared to the desert world. Right. And hmm. in that, in that um, vein, it's just like, okay, well, if I hear, say, a hip hop beat, or a heavy metal beat, or a um, drum and bass electronica beat, or even a dubstep beat. You no, know, I've heard this before. This is normal to me. Yeah. Holy crap, that explains to me. <laughs> I suddenly understand I the universe. So I, exactly. Thank you, Connie. I can't. Yeah. 
soulmate, Kanye, Cascade, Kill Switch Engage, or K-pop. It's, it's all the same to me. It's, yeah. I, and yes, I do. I do listen to all that stuff. It's just, I think I took a screenshot on Twitter one day of part of my game music library. And I challenged someone to think and identify everything that was on that list. I guarantee <laughs> there's some. It was just one screenshot, just like one letter. And I said, okay, I don't think there's any person in the world who can who could not identify every. I can identify every song that's on there because it was just that insane. This sounds like it should be a Jeopardy category. Exactly. You know, things on Sakani's <laughs> playlist and the letter, <laughs> the letter L or something, and it's like everything they play clips. And it's like, oh, who is? Oh. What is no one sleeps in Tokyo? I'm, you know, I'm actually gonna find that tweet. Give me one moment here. <laughs> oh, we searching for that. I I kind of understand Sakani listening to game, video game. I listen to every time I get in my car. I have a dedicated playlist of just like video game music, and it's just especially when uh, the Halo theme starts playing in the background with the, all the drums. I'm just all ramped up, and of course, it's terrible when my you know <laughs> car is just speeding along down the road, See, going about 20, 10, 20 miles over the speed limit. <laughs> and that's how Killer got his fifth, <laughs> sixth, and eighth ticket. <laughs> Actually, I've only had two tickets off -road, in my entire off -road. life. I don't get tickets. Psh. Yes, yeah, because yeah, yeah, um, well, we know why you don't get tickets. <laughs> I, don't but, um, get <laughs> I don't even they, get pulled over. I don't even get pulled over. She's got a radar detector. <sighs> No, I don't know. Right. Oh, I actually, see that link. well, that that's a story for a different day. But it's it's actually kind of funny about how I was the one setting up speed traps. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. so so you become the enemy of the rest of us. Wow! Now. Thank you, Baroness. Thank you. Well, they now, were... seriously though, check the um the chat log. There's something in there you guys should. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I see. Holy okay. crap! But uh, yeah. I mean, I don't have a specific playlist for gaming music. I just whoa, 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 whoa! I just took over everything. There we go. Ah, sorry. I'm close. I've been able to identify. Let's see, Dr. Doolittle. Okay, R. Kelly. Yeah. Did say should... lazy. Yeah. Yeah. We should probably link this status in our uh, in our description. Kelly. Yeah, I am. Sure I am. I, I'm getting that link now. Yay. Yeah, I I oh, can I appreciate your collection. It <laughs> yeah. is glorious. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, and and that's just that's just the letter D. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. <laughs> so, kind of going along with that too. Um, have you listened to? Because I it, just thinking about my own playlist, everything's kind of mixed together. But I listen to a lot of like, uh, groups that I don't want to say rewrite, but rearrange um, different pieces for like string instruments. So one of my favorite pieces uh, recently is one that they redid. Um, it was Portal Still Alive, done on a string quartet. So Ooh. outside, I know it's That'd fabulous. It's I have to listen to that fabulous. later. Um, it was on. Yeah. It was on the uh, latest vitamin. Yeah, latest vitamin string quartet al album. But uh, do you listen to like things like that? Do, you, or do you just stick primarily to like the soundtracks and things when you listen to them? I do listen to a lot of arrangements. It depends on what my um, taste go, taste go to. For example, um, basically OC Remix is basically just all arrangements. That's all they do. Mm -hmm. And so I, I've listened to them forever. I've been listening to them since the days where um, it took me to say, I would be actually looking for one and say, okay, which one is only four megabytes because that one will only take me 15 yeah. minutes to download. Oh, well, and then that's how some people like Jeremy Soul got their start. Like I had been talking to a friend about OC Remix a long time ago, and he's like, "Yeah, he did the Skyrim soundtrack." And I remember when he was just doing OC Remix tracks. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's a good platform to kind of you know build your talent. Yeah, and there are some people who I've been following since they were on there, like say, um, like Bert, as well as yep. um, uh, Andrew Aversa, aka Zircon, um, mm -hmm. Josh Joshua Morse. And um, even uh, DJ Pretzel himself, he does yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Guy who runs the site. So yeah, yeah, I mean, a lot of people have gotten their start there, and I have you know found some ones I like and follow them onto um, bigger and better things. I'm happy for them. Yeah, definitely. On a related note, Sakani, final countdown, bluegrass version. Yeah, yay or nay? <laughs> what? Final <laughs> countdown by Europe. Don't don't break the guest. <laughs> Bluegrass version. 
Yay or nay? Nay. Oh, <laughs> this is Connie. I was liking you so much. Oh, I'm no. Kidding. No. <laughs> I understand. Wait, you don't even like... No, no, no. You get, have wait, to handle wait. this like an internet argument. So it's like, we can't be friends anymore. Oh, no, no. And you're clearly a, you know, insert anything bad there. Because you don't like this one no. song. Pilot, we can't no, 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 stop, stop. I like it. We are all grown adults here. We are above the petty politics of the internet. <laughs> yup, exactly. <laughs> At least in this Skype call. <laughs> At least in Skype call. And as soon as it's off, then that's when Killer Sakata will duke it out about this one song. That, that would be amazing. We're not we are above the petty politics right? of the no. internet. No. Oh, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, that's I what's going to be all really flames good. and docks and then whatever else you want to do. Exactly. This is what I really yeah. think of your banjo. Like, well, I, I know what Killer Joe <laughs> looks like, and here he is. <laughs> oh, internet. <laughs> exactly. God. Why can't we just get along? Be because, yeah. uh, because bluegrass. Oh! oh. Yeah, because bluegrass. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. If you don't like blue, I'll admit most bluegrass, it's most like I would never listen to these songs in the bluegrass version if I didn't like the original song, so I'll, I'll admit that. True enough. Yeah. True enough. But, okay, it, moving on. It was surprisingly good, though. I, I enjoyed it. But, all right. So our next question. What is your favorite game soundtrack? And I know this might be a tough one because you've got, Ooh, like, yeah. every... That's a good one. Game soundtrack ever. Uh, you, you can think on that for a minute. <laughs> I, you know what? If I had a favorite, um, I'm going to try to narrow it down the best I can here. Okay. Okay. I yeah. have two. Let's say you say I have two favorite series. Okay. 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 Those. Cut out the My two favorite series would be say. Uh, Sonic, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog and Fantasy Star Online. Good one. Both of those who are composed by the people over at Sonic, T Sonic Team at Sega. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're kind of like the same group of composers. Generally, they make my favorite stuff. It's hard to, even still, it's hard to pick, say, one specific favorite, but I do say, let's say, uh, Fantasy Star Online, Fantasy Star Universe. Um, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Unleashed, uh, what's the other one? The one that was on the Sonic and the Secret Rings. Um, no, I can listen to a lot of these live tracks and these soundtracks on repeat almost forever. And so they are just my... Yeah, that, that's how I kind of feel about Sonic Adventure too. I, I love favorite. that soundtrack. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I have done multiple BGM episodes just on mm -hmm. those two games. So um, yeah, I think they are worth listening to if you like. If you really want to get inside the head of what I like, then yeah, those are two places to start. Very cool. The mind of Sagani. That's what we call that. So, Bio, what's your favorite game soundtrack? Because we usually we, we kind of oh, round table it and we kind you had of to flip this. We did. We did. You can't just sit there. It's all I'm gonna good. Have, what, what I'm going to have to pull it up now. I'm pulling. I'm pulling up iTunes to to take a look at this. Killer, Which I know is blasphemy in some circles. Killer and I were actually talking about this the other night because um, my favorite, as far as the gaming soundtracks, and there, there's there's quite a bit that I really really like. But um, you mentioned Jeremy Soul earlier, and Jeremy Soul is mm -hmm. the entire and only reason that I have an iTunes account because <laughs> when the Skyrim soundtrack came out um, for the last <laughs> time, it was exclusive yeah. to iTunes. And as you know, I'm very much an Amazon girl. So the fact that I had to, <laughs> I had to go to the dark not, side. Not. Taint herself. I had to go to the dark side to get this soundtrack. Just speaks to like how impactful it was because I, I do. I just yeah. love driving down the the highways in Cleveland and just you know, my battle music's playing and I'm looking for dragons because reasons. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Uh I'm I'm like yeah. Sakani. I can't pick just one digital distribution of game music. Sorry, what? Hmm? Eh. Who is talking? Talking over me. I have I no idea. Well, <laughs> we lost what? Yeah, no, I was saying that it's both sort of a blessed digital distribution of game music. Um, it's spread it out to a larger audience, and we're getting more and more music released that way. Mm. Uh, I, um, 
uh, about, I'd say about two thirds of the soundtracks I feature on my show can be purchased off of iTunes. Right. I'd right. say that's a blessing. The curse is that it's still iTunes yeah. and that, um, you know, it's more available there and maybe not in other markets. Uh, say, um, Amazon has sort of slim pickings. Yeah. Uh, same thing for, uh, but even though there's still a lot more stuff coming out on, say, Google Play, on Spotify, on various streaming services, on Bandcamp. So yeah, most almost all soundtracks these days, these current ones, you can buy them digitally somewhere. The norm, the biggest holdouts, of course, being um, good luck getting anything for a Nintendo game. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. See, now I remember much- like ten ten plus years ago, I would have to go to GamingFM.com, and I would just you know tune into the stream and just listen to that all day while I was you know doing other stuff. Just let the rotation come through. Which ended up being simple and clean all the freaking time. No uh, hate for Kingdom Hearts, but yeah, I see why that would um. But yeah, <laughs> constantly. Oh, and we we counter trolled them back then too uh, oh with it. Yes. Oh yeah, we found the most annoying Sonic the Hedgehog song. It's not actually from Sonic Team, but it's that they call me Sonic. It was supposed to be Sonic Arcade, but it wasn't really. It was a. Uh, I think I've heard this. Kind of like a house music. Uh, collection. Sing it. But it was Sonic hmm. related. Sing it, Bio. They call me Sonic, cause I am faster than sound, I keep on jumping around. It, it was this voice that kind of sounded like Australian almost, and kind of like it was trying to be a little hedgehog. It sounds very but, familiar oh, to me. I'm sure I keep thinking of the yeah. cartoon for some odd reason. That does sound like something that would be from a cartoon. Yeah. And, slightly, and what he just said reminded me of like the um, uh, Sonic R, or Sonic Racing. Uh-huh. On the was it on the Genesis or the Saturn? I think it was the Genesis. I think it was the Genesis too. It could be wrong. Yeah, and I remember that one because that was the first soundtrack I ever heard with lyrics in it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But yeah, we we grabbed that and we found a loophole in their uh, their request system design, and we just flooded. Oh God! <laughs> oh yes, for a solid month, just just to knock Simple and Clean out of the top five. <laughs> and and uh, they actually changed their. Uh, their tagline of the website for a while because of that. It became where Sonic has no name. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was... Oh, yeah. Really my just for, um, just for sake of, um, accuracy, because, you know, if you're wrong on the internet, you will be corrected. Yup. Yeah. Uh, Sonic, Sonic R was a Saturn game. It okay. was. Wow. Okay. 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 Duly noted. <laughs> Alright, Killer, what was your favorite soundtrack? That is really tough. Um, mm-hmm. It's not supposed to be an easy question. I know. Just I'm say just... Chrono Trigger. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say Chrono Trigger. Uh, I'm stuck on two two different series, like like Sakani was, but they're truly really two different ones. I my first foray into gaming music was also like my first foray into actual PC gaming was with the Command and Conquer series mm-hmm. with oh, Frank okay. Kirkpatrick. Yeah. Uh, I forgot his last name, but anyway, I can still remember, you know, the Hell March soundtrack song and Iron Fist and the the Orca theme going through the canyon, the ch- canyon chase and stuff like that. So I would have to say, command the you know first Command and Conquer and maybe their first Red Alert. Those are those two right there. Just I I will never forget them. But I yeah, think the next hell- one. I'm sorry. What's Hell iconic? March is Hell March is pretty iconic. I would say. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. very iconic. You, you you can't beat it. And I think the second one is probably would be my second four way dive into gaming again. Would probably be the um, the Halo series with Marty O'Donnell. Yeah, that that really threw me for a loop when yeah when he parted ways with them. I was just like. What? Yeah. Um, What's going on over I there? I don't. I I was kind of heartbroken there too when he he separated from Bungie, but with with the drum beats all like to be one of my favorite. Not so much the Halo theme itself. It's like the Covenant dance. It's like in the very first game, and you're just going through the snow and it's just beating. You know, you're fighting within the the drums just going off in the background. It's just whew, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so have we all asked it, or is it your turn, um, Ms. Baroness? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, it, it just goes back to Skyrim. Oh, that's right. All roads lead to Skyrim. 
<laughs> well, although, no, well, okay, 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 okay. Since, since everyone else is giving multiple answers, I mean, Skyrim is is by far my favorite, but um, I would Stop. be remiss to not talk about... Stop. You right there before you go to the next game. Oh. I got to interrupt Uh-oh. you right there. I have, right. I have to ask you one question. Sure. Okay. As a longtime listener of Rivalcast Media and friend of Rivalcast Media staff, we all know that the normal response to any discussion of Skyrim is to um, take some kind of <laughs> orgasm. <laughs> oh, Skyrim. <laughs> so I have oh, to know <laughs> if, 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 if any discussion of, of the same reaction in you. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that. <laughs> You blip that, for now a keep second. in was... keep in mind uh, keep in mind that this isn't going on Twitch, so it's not as big of a deal as it would be. <laughs> you know how Baron no, I... every time Vyar and Highlander talk about Skyrim, they're like, "Oh God, oh God!" Yeah. Like they're about to yeah, right, Skyrim. Right. Yes. Every time you uh, think about Skyrim, Thor's... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that's pretty good. Actually, that's that's pretty close to the Varyar levels there. <laughs> no, but what we're saying is, every time you speak of it now, you have to. Do oh, the same. oh, oh! I fo- I follow that. So, oh, how would I do that then? Huh. I don't know. How do you? <laughs> mm. <laughs> <I> don't... <laughs> well, while you contemplate that, I'm gonna actually answer the question because I realized I didn't answer. It. I'd oh, say Chrono didn't? Trigger oh, is probably <laughs> one that's really good for me. Wasn't that yeah. the one Chrono that Trigger. Were to force on. Force on. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying to force it on killers. Just like. <laughs> No, but I'm with Sakani too. Like those Sonic soundtracks are really good yeah, as well. But, so that I mean, series in Chrono Trigger. Generally, I don't play the same games that you do. So most of my like you know love of video game music is just watching other people play and then picking up stuff you know here and there. Because like Scott, uh, me Baron never really played <laughs> Portal. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm in the conversation <laughs> now. Bible screwed me up on Friday because he was using everybody's real name. No, no, like, not Bible. <laughs> Bible. Oh, vi- Weeble. But Weeble. 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 Get it right. I'm sorry. I'll get this eventually. But, I, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I, 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 I love Skyrim. Oh, <laughs> Skyrim soundtrack is amazing. But yeah, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't say. Weak. Weak. And. Wait, and and Scotty's gone. <laughs> I, I, w- I would be remiss if I didn't say uh, something about the Sims 1 soundtrack because we've we've mm, okay. actually pulled uh, some of the clips from their stuff to use uh, as a background on Bippy commercials before just because it's just that good. <laughs> like when, when you listen to the commercial for the FU Ton, uh, the background feed is uh, the shopping music from Sims 1. Right, yes. Yeah. So, oh, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. Trivia there now. Yeah. I mean, when, when the games first came out, it, it again, you know, I, I've been a PC gamer from the start. For anything that I do play, it's it's always PC. I was never... Well, uh, Spyro the Dragon for the demo disc that was on console, but yeah. At, but it was nice because I was so excited you could actually pull the songs from it. So early on, you know, I, I had this playing The Sims, and then I, I pull it, and I'm listening to the, to the music in my car on the way to school. It was great. So yeah, so the, the Sims Sims One soundtrack would be up there too. Yay, Sakani's back! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think he uh, he had a moment there. <laughs> I think he busted a rib. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you checking the time? How much time we have left? No, I was. I didn't read no, the just... Snapple fact when I. Uh, uh. When I Hold my ice <laughs> really? out this morning. Really? I usually announce it first thing. It's sort of a thing with me. Okay. Well, so for announce those of, it. The, for those of you who uh, are interested back at home, the Snapple Real <laughs> Fact Snapple Real Fact 866 is Abraham Lincoln was the tallest U.S. president at 6 foot 4, <laughs> while James Madison was the shortest at 5 foot 4. The more you know. Ding, 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 ding. Good job, guys. Good job. This is what teamwork is all about. This is what teamwork is all about. All right, so that was the last official question that we had. Um, Bio Killer, do you have any other questions for our guest? Oh, I've got one. So Uh-oh. we talked about favorite and best soundtrack. What soundtrack Ooh. is the worst? What, what soundtrack you just, did you just hate? It ruined the game for you, or... 
you hear it, I don't know, you get triggered or something, you start, you know, <laughs> curling up in the field. <laughs> like, ah. Okay, what soundtrack was so bad that I had to mute the game? Um, hmm. Usually to be some usually be something that I, I play for so long that it just like eh I ha just have to mute it. Sure, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, worst soundtrack could probably be to like uh, pick a, pick a generic mobile or Facebook game, but that's too Farmville! easy. Farmville, Farmville yes, for the win. Farmville. Yes, including that. <laughs> <laughs> for the win. Well, never. The, the, never. The, the, never for the win. It, it, no, no, no. It it wins the worst. Because, yes. Kind of like the Razzies. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. Ah, gotcha. But, yeah, I would say, uh, but let's be real. Let's say for a real game, like a real console mm -hmm. or PC game, the absolute worst soundtrack, the one I just have to say, okay, I can't stand this, I have to turn you off, would be, hmm, let me think for a moment. That's actually a hard one. Because the thing about bad soundtracks is that I forget about them. You mentally block it out. Yeah, of your I was mind. gonna say, forget or you, you... They, 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 they just yeah. kind of don't exist anymore. So I just like, man, tune them out. Like, you're not there anymore. Go, go away. Uh, whew, wow, worst soundtrack. I'll come back to that one. Let me think on that for a minute. Okay, okay. Bob, right. did you have one in mind while you were? Um. Kind of here and there, like there. So there's one Pokemon track. Actually, there was an urban legend that went around it, which was Lavender Town song, and that one, I always hated that in my ear. I did. I had to turn the the volume down, and that was just like, ugh, I'm so, painful. I'm what? sorry you said you said there was a legend going around. I'm just imagining like if you play the was. Pokemon soundtrack backwards and you start <laughs> no no the urban legend was that apparently the tones they used in the japanese version had to be changed in the u.s release because japanese kids were like killing themselves that was that was a it's out yeah it's on the internet so therefore it must be true right oh my god we need i doubt it is but they claim that they changed the song of the u.s version because they were afraid kids would oh. you know throw themselves off buildings or something wow but i just never liked the track wow yeah we we need to start a legend on the internet that if you play the Skyrim soundtrack backwards, we'll have to pick well, a specific track from it. What was that again? Sky what Skyrim? What? Skyrim. <laughs> oh, Skyrim. <laughs> Ugh. My body. All oh, right. Dragons. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I got. I got to be able to breathe through the rest of this. Okay. So. <laughs> so we have to pick a, pr a particular track from Skyrim. And uh, start an in a rumor wow. on the internet that if you play it backwards, you'll get all the passcodes to Rivalcast and the ten thousand dollars to spend a month on Varyar's couch. Oh, we, can, we can make yeah. this happen. We yeah. can make this a thing, and it and it would be in Varyar's voice too. So if you don't, if you hear it, but it's not in Varyar's voice, say it's in like Highlander's voice, then it's a false. False thing there. Yeah, you, you, you picked the, the wrong track. Players. You picked yeah. the wrong track. Exactly. If it's Highlander. Hold on, I'm gonna make, make an editor's note. And make sure I embed a audio track of Varyar somewhere. <laughs> we oh could just God. string some tracks that, of Varyar talking. That would be amazing. We could get. We could. We could make this a massive thing. Like, not say which specific track it was, but then like for each each track on the Skyrim soundtrack, have like a, a little clip embedded of each. <laughs> Staffer, and like the ones for Haxus could be like, am I really being forced what? to do this? <laughs> like just little you things make? like that. that would... <laughs> I so wish I had my soundboard set up right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a thing. Oh, Future plebeians, oh just know how much thought and effort we put in to the content that we put forth for you. For your entertainment. A whole three minutes. I know, right? <laughs> <All three minutes. laughs> oh. I thought it was six. Skyrim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a really bad joke in there, Killer, and yeah. I'm gonna refrain from saying it. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> is it Wow oh. that now that is a deep cut right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this happens every week. Oh, so Baron only lasts six minutes every week? No. <laughs> I'll get you for that one. Oh, no, you won't.
No, actually, see, you probably see, will. See, <laughs> see, 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 see. Hold on, hold on. It wouldn't be an episode without. Oh, are you? De you are demoting me. <laughs> Damn it! It's already happened. Damn it! I happened for you too. Na 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 na. Hey 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 hey. Goodbye. Oh, now we just gotta remember to keep doing this for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> At what part what? of the episode? <laughs> That's all right. But back That's on right. topic. So, what's the worst <laughs> video game soundtrack we ever heard? Sure. Oh, uh, I, I'm with Sakani. I I block it out. I don't remember. Yeah, I I don't. I think my brain just picks up on the good ones. But you know, when you were mentioning like the social gaming, yeah, Farmville mm. does have a soundtrack, and it's mm. horrific. It's one of the first things. Like I, when I first opened the game. Back before I knew better and became addicted and had like I'm not t I'm not kidding like elaborate Excel spreadsheets that calculated with the new crops like what my yield would be and I, it was it was creepy. Wow, terrible, just it terrible. Was, it was very bit. bad. You, then, you should play Eve Online because that's nothing but spreadsheets. No, so I'm told. No, no kidding. No. <laughs> I mean, there there are like fan forums for fan for Farmville. Where I would like actually partake in internet trolling and go on and just mock people for their uh, their lack of efficiency in their farm. Wow! It's like, come on, really? It, it got it got really bad. Like Baron thought that I had a problem, and there was an intervention. And yeah, I'm, I'm I did not little... realize Baroness was a get gooder. It was bad. It was well, wow, bad. that I'm is. Not... Wow. I'm I'm not proud of that <laughs> time in my life. I I just want the internet to know that I have overcome that. You know, I am a recovered Farmville addict. And um you know, wow. I just You are I officially just, a hardcore gamer then. I just want to thank my friends for you know, being there to support me through that transition. And uh to 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 my friend Aaron out there, um <clears throat> the bushels are in the back. <clears throat> anyway, but yeah, uh, that, that was, just happened. That was yeah, the, apparently. No, it didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Looking at <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it 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 definitely was one of those things where I listened to it for like a minute, and I was like, oh, that was really cute. And I was, I was like, wait, it doesn't stop. It's the no. same thing over and over. I I need this to stop. How does it? How does it? <laughs> This is a song that never ends. Shut up. Yeah, stop that right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll sing the Marinky Dink song to you after Sakana yes. does, because I don't want that to be in his head either. Uh, no. Yeah. But um, back to the question, though, I think I'm going to have to give the worst soundtrack as far as that. Um, it was one I just say, I don't even want to say it's bad, but it's just one I just forgot about the most. Like, this game had a soundtrack? Really? And that would be to... Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, okay. yeah. Not even played it. Good point. And that, um, like I said, in first-person shooters, you generally don't know a soundtrack is this. Mm. Even though, even I, I want, I don't even want to put it to um, first-person shooter game because there are other ones like say, um, Left for Dead, Left for Dead, which has a good atmospheric soundtrack, mm -hmm. or um, Halo and Killing yeah. Four, which are great for standalone. So yeah. even in um, Call of Duty, which is with this. Um, I don't know how much money they paid for Hans Zimmer to come and score that. Oh, yeah. But at the end of the day, it's just like I completely forgot it was there. Yeah. So, wow. Um, yeah. That's, yeah. That pretty bad. That, that's a game I can just play with the music off and whatever. I, I'm betting most people do because all they do is multiplayer, which has no music. So. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I guess there's Makes that. sense. So, yeah, as far as I'd like, say major console game, I think that's my um, early pick for worst soundtrack. I don't think I've ever. I play games with, say, okay, but I don't think I've ever think I can't remember playing anything that was just really just bad, so I'm just gonna go with that. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah, I was just thinking about that when you were talking about uh, FPSs, because the one FPS I can think of offhand where I do remember the music was kind of the original uh, Medal of Honor, which was Michael Giacchino, who's, I think he just does film stuff pretty much now. Yeah. Um, like those I can think of, and that was actually my first soundtrack I went and purchased. 
uh, because it's just like, oh, it's really cool. It takes me back. But yeah, now that I'm thinking of it, it's like a lot of FPS. I just don't per yeah. se think of it. Of yeah, true, true. I also want to give a um, a dishonorable mention to um, <laughs> no, ser- no, seriously, th- th- this isn't that. This a um, this doesn't quite answer the question, but uh, to G- in number two hundred and twenty-two. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but outside of some of the larger series, like say Final Fantasy or Persona, uh, you take the, take the popular tale series, right? The right. Um, tale, tale of Symphonia, Vesperia, Zillia, wherever the next one is right now. Uh, yeah, these things are. How do I put this? After a certain point, they all sound the same. Mm. No. Okay. They're all set in the same world with the same music. And the only thing that stands out at all are the battle themes, and sometimes even they don't stand out. So it's all just really okay. very generic. So mm-hmm. props to uh, Square Range for at least managed to, st- managed to stand out on that front. They always have stellar music in their games, no matter how poorly they're received. So Final Fantasy, I don't care what game, I was like, oh my god, worst Final Fantasy game ever? The soundtrack was badass. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, which, which one now? Uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen. I, I, I like the I soundtrack think, um, too. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 there were three games. I think Final Fantasy Thirteen Two was my personal favorite. That is okay. um, no, awesome. And if you don't believe me, there I did a show about it. Go, go listen to that and tell me otherwise. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of interesting how some of them are, are have better music quality than they were received as as products as a, a game itself. Yeah, because I only got so far in thirteen. I just had I I stopped and just didn't pick it up again. It wasn't like a conscious decision, you know, screw this game or whatever. I just started doing other stuff. But yeah, the soundtrack I still listen to that. Yeah, that that's not an uncommon thing for me. There are lots of games which I have, which I um think they have great soundtrack. That's the question you asked me right there. What's the game? What's the worst game you've ever played that has an awesome soundtrack? Because wow. I have many and I have yeah, many that's a good for one. that. That's a good one. Um, I'm gonna have to think on that one for a bit. Yeah. Well, while you guys are thinking, I'll go ahead and get my entry in that yeah, one. Yeah, drop, <laughs> drop them. <laughs> yeah, it is a Nintendo DS game called Fantasy Star Zero. Mm-hmm. Um. I got the soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. I, thought I listened to it you know, um, straight through about three or four separate times. I eventually rented the game nope. a whopping uh, 90 minutes before I said, this is garbage, and sent it back. <laughs> wow. Still love the soundtrack, though. I kind of felt that way about Fantasy Star Universe. Uh, I played that on PC, and and I didn't care for the game as much. But I, you know, I went and got the soundtrack. I still listen to that from time to time. Not particularly. I don't think it was an amazing soundtrack, but it wasn't bad either. Um, as like I said, as, um, as good as part of the series, I think. It's, I don't think it's the um, maybe not the best um, entry in there, but there are some. There are definitely some standout tracks. Um, uh. I'm gonna call out a couple of them. There's one called Old, Ro- Old Rosenham City, uh, which is came uh, Fantasy Star Universe Ambition of the Illuminus. There's a track in there called Old Rosenham City, and yeah, it's one you put me in my um, favorite tracks of all time, as in my top 20. Oh wow! So. See, I have to answer the question a little bit differently, though, because I don't play nearly as many games as the rest of you do, but I watch sure. a lot. So I think it's kind of kind of goes back to what you were saying about Final Fantasy. I love the soundtrack, but as far as like actually watching the gameplay, completely disinterested. Um, I had a lot of friends in college, especially, who just would uh, girlgasm over the the characters, and I never understood why. But it. To me, it's just like I, I just wasn't interested in it, but the soundtrack was amazing. And I have, I have several of their, their tracks on my playlist, too, that come up randomly. So. 
Okay. Kill and, whoa, what is this? Yeah, I'm gonna have to... <sighs> You've looked so deep in thought on this one. Well, I, I kind of liked the game, but the game was kind of a disappointment. I'm gonna have to say Halo 4. There was a couple good sound tracks in that one, I which I still enjoyed even today, but the game itself was kind of a disappointment to me. So, eh, I'd probably have to say that one. Mm. Also, they switched, you know, music directors. Of course, they had to because it was a different video game company doing right. Halo. So, there's that. It's fair. It's fair, I think. All right. Well, we are coming up towards the end of the show. Um, Sakani, first of all, thank you for coming on and joining us. It's been a pleasure. Um, do you Very. have do you have any yep. last questions for the hosts? Um, just one question. Sure. Um, it seems quite unfair that you all know know my name. I don't know yours. <laughs> <laughs> Well, mine is tied to my Twitter account. I, I make no... Uh, yeah, likewise. There's no point in hiding it if people can just use public databases to try and likewise. track it down. Likewise. And then uh, mine is Jen, or Jenzilla, depending on where you're at. And Vibel uses it frequently on air all the time, so it doesn't... Yeah. Everybody already... <laughs> it's, it's a non-secret. <laughs> it's a non... Oh, excuse me, Weeble. 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 Uh, Weeble. I will get Weeble. this. Weeble. <laughs> well, when you talk to somebody for a year and they're like, oh, hello, I am Viable, and then it's like, all right, well, you've introduced yourself to me as that, and then I find out Friday that it was a lie. <laughs> it's all a lie. <laughs> Yanked reality from her and just, just stomped on it. Just it's like, really? You know my deepest, darkest secrets about RCM, and I didn't even know your real name or your real gamer you name? You didn't know how to pronounce oh. the tag. It's messed it's up. so sad. Messed uh, up. Uh, messed up. And my name is Matt, or Matthew. So. Oh, wow, I'm so disappointed. You have, you have too many Matt. There's too many Matts here. <laughs> you know, that's kind of a thing. Because I know of the Matts I've known in my life. I've known at least four or five. And actually, in reality, Sakani, we're a secret cabal. We're trying to take over the world. Mm -hmm. Just to let you know. Oh, hurry up. The world's going to hell. Hurry up. Oh, you know, that's <laughs> yeah. how we want the world Kinda right is. now. He makes because, you have to, because, you, uh, because you have to live in it, too. That's how I know. God damn it, he beat me. <laughs> beat me Logic. again. Logic, he has it. Damn it! <laughs> I'll get you next time, Sakani. <laughs> uh, no. May, 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 hey, my wife is so much smarter than me, so my logic skills have gone. have had to level up to keep up her heart. <laughs> 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 that reminds me of my, Hooray like, my, for the misses. If you ever, my favorite quote on the joke on logic is from an 8 bit theater webcomic is In the re arena of logic, I fight unarmed. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good quote. Actually. It really is. <sighs> <sighs> All right. Bio, killer, last minute questions for our guest. Um... He's ready for you. <laughs> it's like, bring it. Bring it. Trying to trying to think here. Trying trying to think. I can't handle it. I can't mm. handle it. <laughs> is the married life? Your minds are not ready. No, <laughs> my mind is not ready. I got a question. <laughs> Hold on. I got it. Is what you expect of married life, meaning with expectation, you know, mm. reality, since you're just newly married? You know what? Here's a mess. Here's a funny thing. Um. My marriage is two months old. Mm -hmm. Has it really been two months already? Really? Yeah, two oh, months. Yeah. Wow. As of, yeah, I got married on April 3rd. Oh, crap. It has been two months. Wow. Yes, it has. And so, um, even right now, it's defy all expectations because at the time I got married, about, uh, how many people? About, some, somewhere between 10 to 15 people I know were announcing um, splits or breakups or something like that. Oh, wow. So yes, um, it has already defied all expectations by being successful and filled with love, and oh, it's still like a honeymoon almost. So yes, it is. So j just by no us still feeling what we do for each other. I mean, like I said, it's only been two months, but like I said, we, that we haven't 
even though we've gone through adversity and we're still mm -hmm. together and we're still just just as strong out as already already um pleasantly surprised me and defied all the negative expectation that seems to have had so i am more than happy with that that's do you, good do you guys do the marriage yeah, fist bump totally. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, we do. We yes. do. Um, we do hold our rings together and say, "When the twins' power activates." Oh, I was gonna say this. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> of course, she's the useful one. You're like the bucket of water. <laughs> Form of an ice menorah. See, this is being recorded, so he's not going to say differently because she might see it in the future. And just <laughs> no, I mean, well, I mean, she, future. She means she's listening to me right now, but. <laughs> You She's like careful. looming, looming over him. He's just like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. But yeah, basically, you know, basically, it's more, it's more like, you know, um, more like, you no know, form of money on earner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it works. I really don't. So yeah. Oh. It's good. It's good. Okay, right. I've got my question oh, now. Okay. Unless, unless you have one, Baron. No, you're you good. One or... You're good. Okay. Okay, so you have the ability for five, ten minutes, however long it takes to really get this out of your mind. Ooh, that Ooh, looks good. What the oh. heck is that? I'm seeing asparagus you, you on the plate there. You put it up there. and the camera went a little fuzzy. It's like it's, it's like been it's fuzzy too for a little awesome bit. for the... Oh, wait, his wife tweeted it. Hold on, I'll read it up here. Grilled tilapia, grilled asparagus, Ooh. grilled tomatoes, and white rice. Oh, Klondike uh, bars for dessert? Oh. Dude, you're set. You're set tonight. You keep her. <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> that sounds good. Okay, so my question is: You have the ability to you're give you're given the ability to for however long it takes to get it off your chest. Tell the entire gaming world, developers, journalists, you know, because there's been a lot of, you know, some of it. I don't know if it's justifiable or not, but a lot of, a lot of rage in gaming. But you can you have the ability to to lecture. Gamers, devs, journalists, you name it, at one time, what would you tell them? That was an excellent question. An excellent question, because um, you, you're going to get the reaction you wanted. Hold on. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yes! <laughs> yes, I forgot about that, yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, first of all, I have to ask: Is this a what? Uh, what was the question? It, is this a PG show? Yes or no? No, it's not a PG no. show. No. Nothing okay, on cast is PG. No, no. <laughs> uh, no. I mean, we've kept it clean all the way up until this point, so okay. I would hate to ruin it at the last minute. No, no, no. Continue. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> this is what I gotta say right here. No, oh, I'm like talking this. to everybody right now. Developers. Publishers, I get you. All right, y'all gotta do what you do. Y'all gotta make money. Y'all got mouths to feed. Do whatever you do. I am at you. All right. If what you do make money, and what you do is making money, I always make the money. Right. That's cool. All right. Now, media industry. You know what? Some y'all need to quit tripping. Okay. <laughs> After a certain point, like, you got to. Uh, now. Basically, after a certain point, if you call everything sexist, then what's not sexist? I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. What's not? I don't know. I'm just saying, all right? Now, y'all got your views. Y'all got your politics. Y'all got your morals. That's fine. That's cool. Nope. Do what you do. But um, if it gets to a point where um, I know more about the number of women in Dragon Age Inquisition than I do about the actual gameplay of that game, yeah, y'all are messed up. Cut that shit! Cut that shit out! Okay. <laughs> can we talk talking about games? That's all I'm saying. Can, can, can we do that? Can, can we do that? Can, is, is that okay? That okay with y'all? That okay with y'all? Okay. Now then, other side, to the fans, to the people out there who love playing games, love reading about games, love getting hyped about games. Do, do I need to say why y'all stupid? Don't really need to get into why y'all stupid, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, no, this why y'all stupid. stupid. <laughs> because y'all just love to show y'all ass for no goddamn reason. <laughs> yes. Every motherfucking thing gotta be a conspiracy. Every motherfucking thing gotta be a controversy. It's like 
was like, y'all can't live. It's like, hmm. Y'all wake up and we're like, hmm. What the fuck am I gonna get pissed off about today? <laughs> that, that's what y'all do. I'm serious. All right, that's what y'all do. That's what y'all do. Yes. You know, I'm like all this, all this. What was this? Like this gamer gay shit. Y'all got all this rage, all this mad. Y'all like, hey, let's get mad and pissed off over over nothing. Then you got other people getting all mad and pissed off over nothing. Then we got this, you know, um, two people being all mad and all pissed off and making everybody else look bad when we just all want to just play some damn video games. Oh, <laughs> no. Can, can I add something? We can't do that. Can I add something? Uh, you've you've also got people who are getting pissed that other people aren't uh, going to be pissed enough. Oh, I, I'm pissed about that too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You know continue. What? Continue. I, I just you know what. This ain't a good get around, but it used to be. I used to be more mad about this. I didn't like no rip rolling all y'all off as stupid, so I can't get mad about y'all no more. But you know what? I might get re mad. I'm gonna try re. Let me get me re mad. Let me re mad. Hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> Is this the Connie 3, the re mad me? <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, it's coming. It's oh. coming. Oh. The transformation oh. is complete. He is super saiyan yes. up. Uh oh. Wait, uh oh. Wait. Oh, wait, wait he said we, he was not... going to do this. Uh, that you really I'm did. sorry. Speak! Speak! Preach it, brother! Preach it! <laughs> That's so beautiful. <laughs> Words to live by! <laughs> I really want to hear what he's saying, too. <laughs> Bye, Hope. I just got yelled at. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> His rage is breaking the internet. <laughs> oh. Did you just say what I thought he just said? Oh! My mind is so blown right now. It is. No, he did not. Yes, he did. Man, Missy's going to be all over this. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, uh, <laughs> you don't say her name one Two more, more time. times. Two more times. No, it's just once. I said it during Ghost in the Podcast. Oh, oh, oh hold on, hold on, hold on. He's, gonna, he's doing the final part. Uh-oh. Oh, he's got to take a drink in between <laughs> oh, he's take a drink. It's, it's getting crazy. You know what? I understand this shit. Y'all don't deserve to get harassed over opinions, okay? Y'all don't deserve that shit. I get it. Motherfuckers are stupid, okay? Like, wh why are y'all doing that anyway? What the fuck is up with this doxing and swatting and death threat and shit? <laughs> y'all understand this? What is this? Y'all don't like somebody so you can send them motherfucking co you call them motherfucking SWAT team send them up to your house? Y'all gonna kill somebody because they get they killed you in Minecraft? Fuck you, you stupid piece of shit! What kind of fucking world we living in? My fuck saying go home and live in their own fucking houses because oh my god, I have an opinion. It's like what? I'm people ain't allowed to have breasts and opinion at the same time? What the fuck kind of world is this we live in? <laughs> Run yourself, you dumb Speak. motherfuckers! Speak! <laughs> the fuck kind of shit is this? Damn! Oh god. Man, hey! And for the one last time, okay? Yes, I said breasts. I like breasts. I like boobs. I like titties, okay? <laughs> and just because I want to see them in my video Preach games your does not mean that Preach I fucking it. hate women, okay? Run your shit. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Am I, anything else? Do, do I got to have any fucking thing else? Or are we good here? Y'all don't hurt me. Good, are you heard me? Good? How, how many people good. listen to this show? How many people listen to this show? How many? How many? Various, I want numbers. Various. Yeah. Okay. various numbers. Yeah. Well, yeah, well y'all y'all better very learn this shit, all right? I'm sick of this fucking shit, all right? That's all. That's all. I'm good. We good? We good? We good? I agree. Like, <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. <laughs>
It has to be said. It has to be said. <sighs> Where's the Tylenol? Fuck. <laughs> 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 I, w I was not expecting that, but no, there, there were there just was truth bombs all over. I know, over. left and right. <laughs> I'm looking around the independent principality of Gentopia, and there's just craters everywhere from the truth that was just dropped. Truth <laughs> bombs. What? Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Although, I think you may have inadvertently given, I can't say her name out loud again because she'll magically appear, ideas with the whole, you know, sending things to certain people's houses. I'm just saying, Bio, <laughs> make sure to barricade the door. I may be in trouble. You I may, may need to. Uh, you may need to be sleeping with your gas mask on tonight. I'm just saying. So, nah. Nah, re Real talk, though. I would love to see her open up her own studio. I would love to see that. Yeah. I can't say her name out loud, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we all know who I'm talking about, but yeah, but no, I'm, I'm going to stick with some positivity right there, you know? I'll, that's what that's what I want to see her do, you know? I want to see her open up her own studio and um, present the type of female representation that she wants to see more. That, that, that I think that is a positive change that we need. And instead, of, I think that um, that's the best way to do it instead of trying to bully everybody else into doing it. No, because that, that's how the totally. industry works these days, you know? That's I mean, true. I mean, I, you everybody, hear that everybody has ideas. Name I can't yeah. Say? yeah, everybody has ideas, and like, we don't want to hear your ideas. No, make your own game. Quit bugging us with your ideas. And I don't see why she has to be an exception to that. I mean, I think it's a, I think it's a personal opinion. Yeah. yeah. Well, and when you think of the the particular person talking about in that example, if you look at all the money that just went to making a video series talking about these things, what if that money? Uh, instead went to building a studio to to show the rest of us how it's done and i'd i'd play it if it's good i don't care i play plenty of games other people probably find boring it's, it's everybody's personal decision exactly i mean in fairness like maybe everybody's not a programmer no i don't know what her sure. uh skill set is what her gaming history is really you know but i'm sure with um i'm sure she has the resources to you know a mass and talent around her, yeah. and you know, um, get get this thing accomplished. You no, know? because I am seriously interested to see what she, what kind of game she would come up with. I, you know, legitimately, legit yeah, just to see. <laughs> if that kind of game sold well, then that would send a bigger message than anything she's doing right now. It totally would, yeah. Instead of kind of dealing with, like you said, the the ruffians who are uh, hijacking comment sections and things like that as a form of protest. It's just like, well, I mean, that that would solve once for all because money talks. I mean, it's kind of the truth. Money talks mm -hmm. in America. So I, if you're making more than the next Call of Duty and you're doing something completely different from Call of Duty, those companies are going to listen. Right, right now they're not because they know it's a safe bet. They're going to get their similar numbers if they release it and just change it a little bit than it was before. I mean, they they know who they're marketing to. They they I mean yeah. Call of Duty Call of Duty sells GTA sells because they they mm -hmm. know their audience. Yep. They market to their audience, you know, and um, changing up the um that the status quo is not a good business proposition for them. No. Right. I think so, but her to prove otherwise. Well, I think it's something that she should do. Yeah, I agree. I think I know what the pink-haired one's uh, video game would be like if. If she ever got to the point where she made friends with some of the game developer people we have on staff here at RCM, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that it might, well, it might be entertaining well, to a certain yeah, Fifty Shades of Not Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and real talk though, um, as far as the yep. pink hair goes, I feel I feel so bad for her. She's done the rawest deal in out of this whole thing for real. She, I, 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 I think people just think that seem to think, think that because she has reacted to getting the, getting the biggest raw deal of all time, she's gotten her name dragged through the mud, and that's just so wrong. He, now, keep in mind, he's not talking about who you two people are thinking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I, I picked uh, up yeah, on that a while ago. Yeah. yeah. But no, and, and that's we'll absolutely on. true. And there have been, it's, it's tough on the internet when people, especially if you stand out and or, or are elevated by let's say game press and then you know mainstream news kind of covered it when you're elevated to a position where you then get that increased scrutiny mm -hmm. and it became very much people were digging up her past on like some 
apparently she'd been in some websites basically where trolls went and screwed with each other and, and stuff. And it's just like, you know, it's tough to know that, that something happens and, you know, next, you know, everybody gets to look back and judge you going as far back as, you know, 15 years or so. Something you did back in 2000 when you were just a kid. And now yeah. everybody's looking at that as if you didn't change from that moment. And, you know, it becomes your permanent mark. And at the same time, people are calling each other misogynists and sexist and ableists and everything else over, you know, one tweet or something. Next thing you know, uh, people are calling businesses and trying to get people fired, like calling HR, like, I hope you know that the person you hired is, is a sexist and supports this. And it's just like, leave, leave each other alone for a while. Yep. Yeah, and after certain after certain points, just kind of re, kind of the whole thing is just kind of ridiculous, you know. I think yeah. somebody, um, I think uh, they didn't officially cover this on the site, but um, Dan Stap Dan Stapleton, who um, is the uh, re the head reviews editor for IGN, the site which everyone loves to hate, but whatever would be the past that anyway. Sure. Mm -hmm. He he um, referred to the whole Gamergate issue at first. I think that's probably the most apt description I've heard of about the situation. I can say it again, it chopped out. Mm -hmm. It's still chopped out again. <laughs> it's it's, it's trying like to, that word's been censored. It's <laughs> trying to, yeah. Your modem's just like, nope, nope. No, he's gonna, he's gonna type, type in the chat. chat. Okay, I type in it. A comedy, yeah. A comedy of errors, comedy yeah. Errors, yeah. That, that really that does makes sense. seem to it. That said, I do like some of the, the new media that's kind of spiraled from it. Now, that said, some of them are kind of... Some of it becomes reactionary, you know, where it's very much we're going to do the opposite thing and talk about, you know, why any anything that Polygon writes, I'm just going to write the opposite article kind of thing. And that's just, yeah, that's it's not, not needed anymore. No. Than, <laughs> I, but I do like, for example, the escapist kind of, they kind of had a purge within their uh, group. And, and they finally got this new editor who's like, you know what, you know, we're writing for gamers. We're just, we're writing about a passion we have. And and I like that approach. Now we'll see if the implementation falls through. But you know the idea of just saying, look, you know, it's about covering covering stuff. And yeah, you can have an editorial now, and then you can say, I'm I wish we didn't. This wasn't the norm in gaming. But you know, yeah. just remember remember who you're writing for, and that you know these these people are like it or not. You know, buying they're lining up to buy stuff. They're doing pre-orders at GameStop, and you know, staying up till midnight for the launch, and etc. And and just write, write in a way that lets your reader know that, hey, you know, here's what I think about it. I got early access to it, or I got to talk to some people. Here's what I think about it, because I know that you're going to have to pay sixty, you know, fifty, sixty dollars for this thing, and I want to make sure that you know what you need to know to make that decision. Because you know, if if they're not doing it, YouTubers are going to do it, Twitch is going to do it, and. You know, I don't know if I don't know if that type of trust should be handed to YouTubers and such. I mean, some some don't do you wrong, but I mean, well, well, there's a, that's that's a different issue about YouTubers. No, there is a um, I think a lot of this. Well, and I'm going to talk about the YouTubers. YouTubers is another issue. I it's a personal gripe about how so much of gaming coverage is going to video, but um, that's that's just a personal thing for me. It's just a fact of my lifestyle. I don't have time to sit and watch no um. Mm -hmm. Two hours of YouTube videos and four mm -hmm. hours of Twitch streams. Twitch streams every day. That, that's just me. So yeah, whatever. Yeah, hey, you're trying to you know make a living. <gasps> oh, have a job uh, and a family. What? Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's the thing. Where I'm oh, no kidding. But yeah, there are some some YouTubers like say, say um, Kai or or even Total Biscuit, friend of the network. I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but no, a lot of them are um, have built up reputation to a point where they are more or less um, beyond reproach in the community, you know, where mm. and, and, you know, where justified or not, I mean, I'm not saying anything bad about TB, but at the right. same way, he's built it up, you know, some print publications, you know, no matter what they have or have not done, you know, just because they're part of a um, big media, media conglomerate, you know, that they are simply mistrusted regardless. I'm going to bring mm. up a perfect example. Um, nobody likes IGN, yet when some of their most um, popular personalities split, split off and did and split off with independent and did their own thing, you know, mm -hmm. all of a sudden their, their credibility shot way up with their fan base. Right. I, I think it's amazing. Well, and when some, of the, 
stuff blew up, IGM was also credited for being one of the first to say, okay, we're going to write an ethical policy, we're going to put it out there, we're going to try and do better. Where some of them turned into, like, how dare you guys do this stuff, you know, know your place in the gaming world thing. So a, lot, a lot of the ones that kind of stayed under the radar and like, okay, you know, you know, I don't approve of the method you guys went about this, but maybe you've got a point, so we're going to examine it and you know, and, and stay away from the drama, basically, is what it is. And, you know, that effect, like you said, IGN's reputation has seemingly gone up a bit. And, and they've produced successful personalities. Yeah, so it's just, I mean, we've, gone, we've covered so much stuff just now. Wow, we've gone all over the place. Yes. Oh, yeah. We usually do. That's what we do. <laughs> and it looks like you're very hungry, sir, and your dinner's sitting right in front of you. Out of yeah, fortress, I, I, I hate to sit there in front of you. Dinner. I'm just saying. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so shall we wrap up, gentlemen? Yes. Yay! Well, again, thank you, Sakani, for sitting in with us tonight. Um, for the viewers, I yes, hope you enjoyed thank you. this. Mm -hmm. You can catch Sakani's podcast on the rivalcastmedia.com. Um, any other shameless plugs we got to do tonight? I don't know who our next guest will be because I'm not sure. That far when this will go, yeah. To, yeah, it's a good point. To go live. But um, general plugs, you know, check out the other shows on the Rivalcast Network. Uh, we stream throughout the week on twitch.tv backslash Rivalcast Media. Um, you can find past episodes of all our shows on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Rivalcast Media. And by all means, <laughs> if you haven't been... Uh -oh. psst, psst. I think you're being whispered. What? What? Um... Yeah, um, this has not been announced publicly, but um, I'm going to be streaming things uh, kind of soon. I'm just getting a new. I'm just gonna. We got a scoop. We got a real yeah. scoop. I'm just Woo. waiting to get a, a um, computer upgrade, and then yeah, we'll be doing stuff like that. Sweet. Very nice. Just, just, just so y'all know. You okay. heard it here okay. first, okay. folks. Okay. I'll, I'll be tuning in. Oh, darn. Hey, darn if right. you need help setting up some of the logistics and stuff, just give me a shout or give one of us a we'll work with you on that exactly. that's exciting <laughs> so we'll look forward to that and i'm sure you'll be able to find the official announcement pop up on rivalcastmedia.com where you can also find our articles our past podcasts um, more information about our shows and definitely check out our articles um killer's got one coming up in about a month i've got my net well by the time this airs, it'll probably be Killer's Got One coming up in like two days. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you but you can, you can see the different fanfic, fanfic runs. Uh, Mignor and I alternate our different series uh, every other Wednesday. Um, Hacks gets some good articles up there too. And you'll hear, well, everyone else will hear it before this, but um, it's news to you guys. I have people who are interested in our writing program. Huzzah! Nice! So I got that okay. uh, just before we went on air with Ghost in the Podcast this afternoon. So, anyway. Excellent. Uh, check that all out. You know, again, RivalCastMedia.com. Join the conversation on our TeamSpeak server, ts.rivalcastmedia.com, colon, 8540. And I think that's it uh, from all of us here at RivalCast. Cheers! <laughs>